Good morning, boys and girls. Have you been enjoying the mud puddles outside in your rubber boots? Did any of you fall into the mud puddles? Have you ever heard of a green basilic lizard? They are a lizard that lives in the tropical rainforest in Central America. They are about 60 to 90 centimeters in long from the tip of their nose to the end of their tail. And they only weigh about seven ounces, which is the size of a pepper that would be in your mom's fridge. When something scares them, they can drop down from a tree onto the water and then they can run on their hind legs about 1.5 meters per second across the surface of the water. Now that's moving very, very fast. However, they can only run for about 4.5 meters on the water before having to swim. Today, we're going to read about a time when Jesus and one of his disciples, Peter, walked on water. Today, we're going to read from the Bedtime Bible Story book once again. <clears throat> one day, Jesus was alone on a mountain praying. Some of his followers were in a boat rowing across a huge lake. Nighttime came, and the boat was far away from land. They were having trouble rowing because of the strong winds. Jesus came to help them late at night. He was walking on the water. The disciples saw him and screamed. They thought Jesus was a ghost. Jesus said, it's all right, I'm here. Don't be afraid. Peter, one of the men in the boat called out, Lord, is that you? Tell me to come to you by walking on the water. Come, Jesus said. Peter went over to the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But then he looked around at the high waves and was terrified. As soon as Peter took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink and shouted, Save me, Lord! Jesus reached out and grabbed Peter. You don't have much faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? They climbed back into the boat, and the wind stopped. Peter lost faith for a simple reason. Instead of looking at Jesus, he looked at the waves. We must never stop looking to Jesus, or we might sink too. For a craft today, we are going to do it a science experiment again. Well, at least we're going to try to do it a science experiment. You're going to need a glass bowl with some water, some dish soap, and also a whole bunch of paper clips. Whether they're the silver kind or the plastic kind, it doesn't matter. So do you think a paper clip is going to sink if we put it into the water? Probably, right? So let's try. Okay, so if we put it in, let's see what happens. Is it, oh, see, it just goes straight to the bottom. Let's try one of these colored ones to see. Oh, and that one goes straight to the bottom as well. But what if we make a fancy little holder to help the paper clip go in? So what you do is the middle part of the paper clip, you just pull it up to about like that. So then it makes like an L shape. And then you're going to very, very carefully, oops, that one didn't go so well. You're going to want to put the paper clip in the middle. You've got to balance it very, very carefully. And then very, very gently, you're going to put it on the water and see, then it floats. Let's see if we can get a few more to float. But you have to be careful that you don't bonk any of the floating ones when you put more in. Oh, that one didn't want to float. Let's try this one. Oh, I guess I'm put, you have to go in on a, just make sure you go in straight. If you go in on an angle, then they're going to sink. And sometimes I think they just sink anyways. But we're going to try. There we go. Okay, so we have two of them that are floating. See them floating around on there? Now, remember when in our Bible story we talked about Peter, when he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk across the water. So let's think of these paper clips as like Peter keeping his eye on Jesus. But remember when Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and he began to fall into the water because he was too busy looking at the waves? 
Well, this dish soap, let's pretend it's like the waves and Peter took his eyes off Jesus. And you watch what happens to those paper clips. See, they automatically sink to the bottom, even though they were once floating. So that's kind of like us. We need to remember to keep our eyes on Jesus all this whole week and all of our lives, actually, not just this week coming up. So let's pray before we go, and then you can try your science experiments later on with your moms and dads. Okay, the prayer that we're going to read today is out of our Bible story book again, because I think it sums it up pretty good as to what our prayer should be for this week. Oh, now we're on the wrong page even. All right, here we are, back at our story. And our prayer this week is, Dear God, help me to keep my eyes on you and your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, have a good week.